Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in an AMG G63 and behind me is a Range Rover Sport SVR and we're gonna have a tug of war. Now let me just tell you about this car. It's got a twin turbo, four litre V8, 585 horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque. Obviously it's all wheel drive. We've got a nine speed automatic gearbox. To tell you about the Range Rover, I'm gonna hand you over to its owner. It's Yanni from Yanni Mize. This is the first time you've done a tug of war, isn't it? It is the first time I've done a tug of war and I'm using my chrome rose gold brand new Range Rover SVR to do it in. So um, please don't hurt her. I'm not sure that rose gold's going to help you with this. But anyway, what's the stats on your car? So she's a five litre V8 supercharged petrol, 575 brake horsepower, 700 Newton meters, eight speed gearbox, four wheel drive, 2.4 tons, I want to say. Yeah, this one's a bit heavy, and I know that does help. I'll tell you what. I'll explain to you how this is going to work. So, put your car in its low range mode for the gearbox, and set it up to the right setting for driving on grass, and make sure it's got as many diffs locked that it has as possible. So this car that I've got has got three diff locks, front, middle, and rear. I've got them all in the lock setting, and I'm in low range and in a trail mode. Honestly, I'm not that confident is the honest truth. However, you know I me, mean? I'll always give it a go. And if I lose, I'll blame someone else. <laughs> Do you want to count it in? Okay, I'll count it in. You ready? He's forward, so they're like just straining a little bit. Low traction launch available below 90 mile an hour. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Come on. Okay, okay, hello. Hello. Come on, baby. No, no. Oh, this is working all right. No, no. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, let me slip down. Stop, stop. My car's thrown up a front rear differential lock system malfunction. Okay. I won that. I won that. If his car got a fault, I win. That's not my problem. I think my car's not happy. Let me just drive it a little bit. <laughs> Disconnect the rope from the back though, yeah? <laughs> Take me with you. Oh no, we accelerated at the same time. Look. Oh, mate, that's amazing. Look, he just stopped. I'm just trying to go. Do it. Kill him. Murder him fully. Kill him. Murder him fully. I don't really just want to hurt him. <laughs> I think I found out the problem. The diffs hadn't fully engaged, so they were trying to engage while I was revving the engine like that, and it just went, no, don't do that. You're going to damage the thing. All I had to do was stop and start the car, disengage the diffs, and it was all fine. They're now fully engaged, ready to go. I think that's actually one to you, though, Yanni, to be fair. I will take that. Second time lucky. Let's have a go at this again. Shall I count it in then? You ready? Three, two, one, tug! I'm literally going through the gears. He's smoking and throwing up all the mud. You 
are smoking, mate. I'm literally digging a hole. Quick, quick, stop, stop, stop. Oh, I don't even know what happened. Well, that was a dead eat. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I know my car's covered in mud. All right, I've got an idea. Seeing as it's a dead heat, I know that weight does make a difference. Especially over the back axle when you're doing that, because obviously your tyres are just spinning. Why don't you add some ballast to your car? So I've got a friend of mine that's about six foot five and he's here. So I might put him in the car. Shall I bring him in? He's a giant, by the way. Bring him in, put him in the car. Daniel, let's go. Am I putting him in the front seat or in the back seat? Put him in the front. Oh, got to let him in. This is Daniel, by the way, everyone. Um, what do I have to do? Just sit here? Just sit here. And be heavy. And just be heavy. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm going to try starting in second gear. See if that helps so I don't spin up so much. All right, then. let's try again. You ready? Take the strain. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Come on, come on. Come on! Come on. Extra weight! We oh, got it! Four! <laughs> come on! Come on. Your weight made all the difference. How heavy is your mate? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to put him in your car? And then try it the other way and see what happens. I can't get in his car, let's jump in ship. That's true, man. I won't be passed around like that yet. <laughs> I really won't. Right, and Yanni, what I've done now, I've still got the car in low range mode, so I have maximum torque at the wheels, but I've turned off my differential locks and that has put the car's stability control back on and I've put the setting now into slippery. So what it might do now is not let the car spin up its wheels and it'll manage the traction better. So can we just do one more go and see what happens? All right, don't forget, be heavy. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm just making sure Daniel's heavy, so we're ready. Three, two, one, go. Got him, got him, he's dead, he's finished, he's finished. Yes. Bugger! <laughs> Do it with that. <laughs> Bugger! Bye bye! It's all down to Daniel's added weight. Is he made out of lead? <laughs> To be fair, I could have had his wallet in the car, maybe that's where it was. Yeah, it's both of your wallets combined, that's the problem. And your egos. <laughs> true story, true story. But I win again. With a little bit of help from my friends. Look at me, look. Do a song. That was not what I was expecting. I will take that every day of the week. <laughs> do you change any of your settings at all? Or do you just do it all the same? No, just all the same, literally just put it on grass, gravel, um, snow, and then off I went. I'll be honest with you though, I didn't hit my accelerator like powerful, I just went slowly, slowly, and then I applied the power, so that could have a difference. Whereas I was just a moron, I just accelerated. Let me just, okay, right, I'm going to tell you backwards, I'm going to tell you backwards. What are you going to do now? You've got to stop this, mate. Come on, you've lost. You're trying to kill my car. <laughs> right, I promise you, Yanni, this is the final time. I have no other answers after this. I've got all my diff locks on again, low range mode, and I'm not going to be so enthusiastic on the throttle. Okay, you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. No matter what he does! 
Bloody same result! No matter what you do, mate, it's game over. I've got my brakes on, you're just tugging me along. I mean, I'm just not doing it. <laughs> that Range Rover. They say they build brilliant off-roaders, I'm telling you. They build brilliant off-roaders, and I think you proved that. Take your G-Wagon to Knightsbridge, mate, and leave me in my 4x4. Bastard. Utter, utter bastard. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Check out Yanni's as well. Follow me on Instagram, at Matt Watson Cars. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry, Mercedes. Can't believe it lost. The mighty G lost. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs>